Just like nearly every other aspect of the entertainment industry, whether you're talking about movies, whether you're talking about TV, whether you're talking about comic books, the gaming world has been infested with woke activists for a long time. And continuously, you see them say the same thing. We support all points of view. We're inclusive. We're diverse. Unless there's an opinion that doesn't align with that of the woke mob, then we will immediately bend the knee and we will cancel anybody that we can. And that's exactly what happened this weekend with limited run games. When they decided to fire one of their employees because of people that they followed on social media. What an absolute disgrace. And I imagine for a lot of people that are seeing this, that uncover this story, even if they did support limited run gains financially, I don't think that's gonna continue for much longer because as we always see, the woke activists out there, even though some of them might get some social media clicks, they have no real power because the same people that have bullied limited run games into firing one of their employees, they're the same ones that said, we need to boycott Hogwarts Legacy. How's that going for them? Oh yeah, Hogwarts Legacy shaping up to be 2023's biggest game. Already the best selling game on PS5 right now for 2023. If you go to Amazon for US and UK, Hogwarts Legacy, even though it's just in pre-order, already outselling everything else on the market right now. But what are we talking about? Let's go here. Sophia Narwish, she was the first one that I really saw on top of this story, even though subsequently there's a couple of people that tried to pick it up and pretend like they collected some of these screenshots on their own. But here you go from Sophia Narwitz. Why do people hate us game journalists 24 hours later. Yay, a chick was fired for tweets that are multiple years old because she follows certain accounts on Twitter. And for context, here we go. This tweet thread kicked off a fury at Reset Era, and within the game media click in less than a day, the chick was fired, all due to who she follows and a tweet from 2016. And we're gonna go through all of this and show you what the what the terrible things this person did to deserve to be fired. Here's this post over on Reset Era, which is just one of the most disgusting collection of activist fucking freaks you could possibly imagine. Hey, uh, why does Limited Run Games have a transphobe as their community manager? Update, fired. And it started right here. Purple Tinker hates Elon. Wow, what a surprise. Uh, do you have pronouns in your bios or anything like that? Oh, yes. Yes, trans and she, her. What a shock. The community manager for Limited Run Games at Carlin0326. She has since gone protected with her Twitter. I get it because a lot of these people are probably wishing death upon her. Is a transphobe who follows a veritable who's who of right-wing transphobic creeps. Unless and until she's fired from the company, I'm not giving them another single dime. Here we go. This is a tweet from six and a half years ago at this point, May of 2016. If you think the number of trans people crying about using a bathroom is higher than the pervs using the excuse, you are what's wrong with the world. That's it. That's it. Talking about transgender bathroom argument. Again, this is a topic that was like seven years old at this point. Don't even know if she worked for limited run games at this time. Probably not likely to be honest with you, but that's enough to make you be considered transphobic. As long as you go to their uh, to their list and you see. Now, this is not on their community page. It's not on limited run social media page. This is an individual's own page. It's, they're not bringing it into what they're, what work they're doing for limited run games at all in any way, shape, or form. But look, they follow, they follow libs of TikTok, which, yeah, of course, this fucking freak has them blocked. Not a surprise. More transphobic follows. Dave Rubin, a gay man. Dave Rubin. Uh, let's see. Another, a lesbian. You're just mad that lesbian and gay people somehow have something to say about the transgender community. That seems to be what you're talking about here with Ariel Scarcella. I mean, come on. And of course, Gina Carano. Gina Carano's on that list. And because she followed these people and because she had a tweet from fucking 2016 that's not edgy, that's not hateful, that's not anything, they fired her. Look at this statement from Limited Run Games. Limited Run Games respects all personal opinions. You, you could just stop there if that's what you meant, but you don't because you don't fucking mean that. You don't mean that because you just fired someone for the people they fucking follow on social media. 
However, we remain committed to supporting an inclusive culture. Upon investigating the situation, an employee was terminated. Our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment for everyone. Unless you have an opinion that, oh, I don't know, 98% of the world holds that maybe biology is a real thing. Oh, what was one of the other things? What was the other bad thing that she got criticized for? We can't forget this. Of course, looking forward to one of the year's biggest games is also a crime now because Carlin says this. I'm ex I'm actually looking forward to the Hogwarts game. Uh, the more I see gameplay, the more excited I get. It's hitting all the marks I've been wanting for a Harry Potter game, just like a lot of other people. No, that's transphobic, apparently. What an absolute joke that this woman lost her job. This girl lost her job because she follows a couple right-wing personalities, if you wanna even call them that. This is a fucking joke. And I hope that, I, I listen, I tried to reach out to her and say, hey, listen, I know you're probably going through a lot. There's a lot of people out there that are going to have your back. And uh, I don't know how long she's gonna leave your social media limited, anything like that, but I definitely know she could probably use some good thoughts out there because this is insane. And I hope, I hope there's some kind of thing in her contract, some kind of clause maybe where she can come back at these people because that is insane. Firing someone because of who they follow on social media and what you think they believe. The tweet, the transphobic tweet, tweet in question, the transphobic tweet in question is a nothing burger. That is an absolute nothing burger. Let's remind everybody. If you think the number of trans people crying about using a bathroom is higher than the pervs using the excuse, you are what's wrong with this world. That's not transphobic. That's, that's not saying trans people are doing something wrong. That's just saying that there are people out there that are freaks out there that will try to take advantage of the kind of gender neutral bathroom kind of thing. That's all she's saying. And this is ridiculous that she has now lost her job because of it. Let me know what you think about the garbage people at Limited Run Games that made this decision to fire this girl over nothing. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there. I'll talk to you later.